okay ready for insight ground floor you can see we'll go there and see what we have there and then we'll go upstairs so we have a double gate here i'm just open it and we enter in a not big but wide hallway and you can see there is a one two three premises around here with these doors well let's go and have a look what we have on this side now i'm entering a biggest room here in the ground floor i hope it's not too dark and it's still visible and you can see it used to be like a type of a kitchen because there is a tap there which means that there is a water inside the house there is a power and electric which need to be totally renovated of course and um, the house floor here ground floor is wooden one but to be honest uh, mainly doesn't look bad but in my opinion need totally new one or put a tiles because if uh, most of the people do uh, living making their living room and kitchen downstairs which mainly is especially the kitchen is with tiles so this room is uh, wide enough it's in my opinion it's about 20 square meters and um, we have this built-in cupboard here to be honest i don't know what we have yeah you can see the flowers in the built-in cupboard and the doors you know that the house is mainly uh, bricks you have double windows here which in my opinion need to be removed all the windows need to be changed the doors doesn't look bad but also i think need to be changed uh here is the wooden floor and beams which are covered by these surfaces which is typical for bulgarian people now it's very modern to take off this stuff and show the beams but uh there are big beams upstairs where when we go upstairs you're going to see that there is the floor is full with mud covered by mud because it's make it warmer but it makes the floor to go like this way yeah like a rocky road to dublin <laughs> yeah it's not straight but because people just fill the holes between the the beams to make it um to make it or to keep it warm there is a chimney hole there in my opinion this room is good to be living room the water is there anyway you have a bathroom and toilet at the back of this wall so you can always move the kitchen and put the kitchen where you want so in my opinion if you keep the rooms like this could be a living room let's go outside now this is where we enter there is another room here which is like a small one but it could be uh dining room yeah high enough uh, the floor also is a wooden one, in my opinion, you can see it's a little very dirty, but the floor doesn't, doesn't look, let me try to, doesn't look <laughs> in a good condition anyway. Not bad, it's not wet by the way, which is good, it's no smell wet, which means there's no, there's no moisture in the house. And you can easily put another wooden floor, which is, this is the, the good sign. And this is the thing, one of the things I like it that it's not wet so this room could be a really good dining room it's a face to the garden anyway and you have a proper size like a 20 square meters living room not that much big but otherwise if you want you can remove this wall and remove like part of this wall here and you have here a cellar i'll show you and you can make it one open plan if you want but it's also when you make it one open plan it will be much more difficult to you'll have much more space but it will be difficult to heat properly uh, but it's depend on what the people want so this is we call it let's say living room will be here this is like a dining room area let's have a another look of it yeah and here we have this double door which lead us to the cellar or let's say a premise which to be honest I really, really like this one because this gives you a lot of more options and a nice chimney with a with a nice oven there. You can see, yeah, this wall can be demolished there, remove the wall, so the room which I call dining room could be connected to this one, you know, and you can store here, fit sorry, you can fit a proper kitchen here, a really proper kitchen. And you have even a window. So what I think is, this one can be removed. 
remove this one there, remove the door, remove this wall here. So you can make a really interesting, let's say, let's say it's the dining room connected with the kitchen area, the kitchen area connected to the living room. Okay, so you can make it this one, or you can just connect it the kitchen area with the dining, the dining room with the kitchen area, and you can just make a separate entrance to the uh, living room. It's a good options, really good. And we have here another building cupboard, again with flowers at the back. Beautiful. I think I know the name of the video already i hope it's not too much dark so we need to have a look here this nice oven yeah and yeah you can keep this one as a feature just demolish this wall there from from the door and up to here and just keep this one as a feature will be nice really nice okay let's have a look and see what we have outside we've been here already if you remember sorry video is yeah so we saw the roof construction. I'll show you again. Quick one, which is good one. And just only we discuss where the gutter, this board to be changed and few tiles, of course. Otherwise, structurally not bad. Here is the washed mud wall with the neighbor side with uh, this gone roof so you can make a better idea where we are now okay good to have an access here this is the window which could be the window for the kitchen and this premise is was toilet and bathroom sorry only bathroom i can see so you have water here it's easy to connect for the kitchen and yeah this is the pipe you can see for me this is useless you can make it like a what you can make, by the way, is if you close, like, from here, you have access. So, you these good columns. I like these columns. If you close this one, from the wall there, up to here, and even make it... Yeah, you can make it... You can close this one. Close that one and that one. And you can make utility room there. Like washing machines, fridge freezers, everything could be there. And then here, if you close this one, just here you can make a wall with window because you need the lights to come from this window to reach the kitchen. Look at the house condition, good. This is a very good bricks, the strongest Bulgarian bricks. Now I'm going again, this is, we call it the kitchen area. Then hallway, dining, living room. Now I'm going out to the second floor. Oh, it's the birds say to me, hello. Or the birds say to me, what are you doing here still? Get out. Oh, the wind is just shut the door. Okay, steps. Yeah, outside, definitely. Which a lot of people do not like. And some people do not mind me is maybe i am from the second do not mind but i prefer <laughs> it sounds strange but i prefer to be close anyway so some people can see how they can close some people not the steps look strong not cracks so that it means that it's not move the one or other way the house small veranda yeah which could be uh could be closed if the people want not a special view but not bad and you have just a neighbor's back walls of the houses so it's gives some privacy on the second floor from here big corridor hallway with one two three rooms let's go and see this let's go it first bedroom big bedroom a nice high ceiling all the rest need to be done maybe the doors are not bad here so you can use the doors 
and we have a swallow nest here so they live here good <laughs> when the spring is come they'll come back if the property is not sold they will be surprised if the property is sold sorry they will be surprised so this size of the rooms it's really good okay let's call a master bedroom and you can see the ceilings no any signs of a problems and i didn't expect it a problems i do not expect it problem because the roof is good but as you see in one of the rooms, they used to be a problem, it's in my opinion. And the floor, as I mentioned to you, is covered by mud. And that's why it's going this way and that way, because it's between the beams. And you can see how, how it is. This is the beam, and then it's go like this and this. And it looks, it's, it's, the mud is a bit crack, yeah, because of the, of the fall, the, the shape of the beams. Let's go outside now. Again, another two rooms. We came from here, this corridor. You always can close this one up there and have a toilet and bathroom. Not a big, but it's a good decision to have a toilet and bathroom. In this case, if you make the toilet and bathroom, if you close from this door frame up to here, you will have it uh, like one and 80 meters plus Maybe it's like a square bathroom and toilet, but you'll have it, toilet and bathroom. In this case, you will save, you will, you can keep three proper bedrooms, one, two, and here, third bedroom. So you can make it to a two, three bedrooms property if you make here a toilet and bathroom. Let's see this room here. It's a proper size. Otherwise, if you, if you think that this will be very small bathroom, you can convert it this room to a toilet and bathroom and then you'll have a proper big toilet and bathroom but you will have a two bedroom it's a good size really good size again only the spiders nets otherwise we have no any problems of the ceilings and this is the roof axis the loft axis the attic axis so this room is not bad. Um, now the third room, it's here and again is big one. Look at this, proper good television. Yes, oh my God. And here we have the size of the room and this is the hole I'm talking about from outside when when I've been outside sorry this one is you know like used to be a leak so definitely not a problem at all on the roof but anyway these ceilings it's a it's a sticks and wood ceilings it's not a proper ceiling so it's been plastered above the sticks and mud between the sticks and wood so this will be plastered that's why this you have some like you have some like cracks like this one because it's just a plaster above the wood sticks which is everybody knows that it can't be done properly so if you put a plasterboard construction here will be different okay so i think we can leave it the house now or best before leave it i'm just curious to see if there are any options to make this one internal staircase. Let me have a quick look of this. Going down. Yeah, I think, yeah, we can make some kind of a, maybe some kind of a inside steps to come in there. If you close this and this, maybe there's option from here, the steps to go up there. Who knows? Okay. Thank you. Bye.